What's up guys, welcome back. I'm back here at Mercedes-Benz of Bonita Springs, checking out this brand new 2024 Mercedes-Benz CLE 300 Cabriolet. Now we've already done the CLE 450, CLE 53, very nice. I wanna see how this base powertrain performs on this vehicle and show you the features of the convertible. So today I'm gonna take in a complete tour of this vehicle, checking it out from the exterior, interior engine, of course, the test drive. If you like watching videos like this, don't forget to check out the rest of my channel, hit that like and subscribe button. And now let's get back to this. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what's going on in Mercedes-Benz, they decided to discontinue C-Coupe and the E-Coupe combine them both coming up with a CLE. Now, I've already covered the CLE 450 and the Coupe version and the CLE 53 and the Coupe as well. Both of them with inline six-cylinder engine, this 53 being the AMG enhanced one. Now we're back to the basic engine, which we're going to talk about it in just a little bit. But let's take a look at the characteristics of this CLE Cabriolet. First of all, I love the color of it. If you like it, they call it the Patagonia Red. This is an optional color. It's got a lot of spark inside of it. As far as the hood, nice and long, typical for sport car. It's got slight bulge right here in the middle. And we have the LED high performance lights from Mercedes-Benz, LED daytime running lamp. And scrolling down here, we have this more aggressive AMG styling. That's because this vehicle is equipped with the AMG line package. They not only look good, but they're also functional, allowing the air to pass through, helping with aerodynamics of this vehicle. The front grill right here, like we've seen a lot of modern Mercedes-Benz, is covered with those mini Mercedes-Benz start. And of course, we have this huge one in the middle, all encased in this chrome trim. There's also Mercedes-Benz star on top and the chrome at, chrome at the bottom of the splitter as well. Of course, the biggest difference between this and the 450 is what's underneath the hood. So let's pop it open and check it out. Underneath the hood of this base CLE 300, we'll find a two-liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine with mild hybrid system, 255 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque, made it to a nine-speed automatic transmission that is formatic meaning it's an all-wheel drive gas mileage 2332 for the combined number of 26 and the zero to 60 at 6.2 seconds definitely much slower than the 450 and the 53 amg we have hood struts on both sides some sound insulation heat shield and a double latches right on top for that extra safety and security and here on the side, definitely doesn't look as sporty as the 53. We had the wider fender flares on the 53, more aggressive side skirt. We don't have that. So it's definitely a lot more toned down. If that's the shape you like, we'll definitely go for it. It looks good. It still looks sleek and sporty. And let's see what else we have. As far as the wheel and tires, we have the multi-spoke piano black wheels. At 19 inch, those are AMG rims. 245 by 30 is the tire size in the front. We have the wider tires in the back at 275 by 35. Mirror cap, same color as the rest of the vehicle. We have the turn signals, blind spot assist. And of course, we have the proximity smart entry system on the vehicle. And we have this polished aluminum trim right here at the bottom. And this one has a black top. I'm gonna put it up for you in just a little bit so you can see how that looks but that's basically your side profile let's move on to the back and of course the top is power operated so push the button uh, you can do it while driving as well up to uh, 30 kilometers per hour so uh, let's see how that looks with the top up pretty quick and we're done and check it out in the back, guys. Nice, sleek, and sporty. Not as aggressive as this 53, of course, but this is not a performance one. Let's see what's going on. First of all, the third brake light is located right on top of this trunk. We also have the satellite radio antenna, the trunk lit spoiler. Big lights connected with this black trim. Now they glow nice and bright in the dark. It is a 4Matic, which is an all-wheel drive vehicle, CLE 300 on one side. Underneath this Mercedes Star, we have the rear view camera, of course, one thing I got to ding them for, okay, 
fake exhaust. This is just a trim. I, I kind of wish that they made the real exhaust for them. I don't know why Mercedes does it. We have some chrome trim pieces and this diffuser style rear bumper. Of course, we have a bunch of sensors on it. Push the button on it to open up the trunk and let's see what's going on there. And here in the trunk, manage your expectations, guys. It is a convertible. So with the top folded down, if it was in, this would be all black. The top is actually goes in this box right there. The top is up right now. So here, it releases more room. It's got quite a bit of space, actually. And if you need more, you can fold down the seats. They have the 60-40 split. And then the releases are right here. We have some illumination in here. We also have the foldable cargo box, but no spare tire. Now, if you were managed to get locked up in the trunk, you also have the trunk release from the inside. And this is what lowers up this divider right here. Let's close it up, see what's going on in the interior. And uh, let's see what's going on. So first of all, in the back, as far as the back seat. Now, is this for decoration only? Well, maybe not for decoration only, but definitely for somebody very small, maybe children. Um, all right, you have a set of cup holders over there as well. You have a set of vans for the rear passengers. I don't know how often they're going to be used, but you have that basically fold the seat up. And that's what she will have. Now, on the front door panel, we have very nice materials in here. Now, if you like this color right here, they call it Tonka Brown. That's the interior color for this Mercedes Benz. We have the piano black trim. Of course, three memory seat settings. We have the heated ventilated seats. Then we have the window mirror lock controls to release for the trunk. Burmeister stereo. We have the Mercedes Benz on the door sill. All right, the seats are nicely sculpted not super aggressive we also have this air scarf blowing air uh, if you need to uh, take it on that cold day it's going to heat your neck up then let me jump inside i'll show you the rest of this interior and here it is guys the interior of this 2024 mercedes-benz cle 300 cabriolet very similar to the c-class actually we have this big screen right here in the middle i like this trim they call it natural wood grain walnut trim it looks really good it is actually wood too so we have some polished aluminum trim pieces around it and as you can see in mercedes-benz we have the ambient lighting that you can see even during the daylight so it's very nice and bright you can even see it in these vans on the side so you have this oval shaped vans on the side oval in the middle this is all nice and soft material as far as the dashboard we don't have the head-up display on and this particular one sportier steering wheel we have the flat bottom multiple spokes on the steering wheel similar to what we've seen on some of the other mercedes-benz model of course on the top bar right here on the top spoke you have the controls for what's going on in the instrument cluster basically and at the bottom you control your adaptive cruise control at the right hand side you see the same setup but that controls what's going on in the infotainment system and then here you have the mute button voice control you have the favorite button and the phone controls pedal shifters in the back help you control that nine speed automatic you have your light controls on the left hand side and here's what's going on in the instrument cluster so this is your classic view so on the left hand side you're going to see the speedometer right hand side tachometer that's the speed is also displayed right on top we have the sign of recognition but you can change that if you don't like this particular design we can go back to the home screen and you can go with the sport design classic you can put navigation in here assistance service etc um, i actually like this classic design so i'm just going to leave it at that i'm just going to show you how the sport looks like if that's what you want, you can definitely set it up. Now, go to home screen. You can definitely customize a lot of features in here. And I'm going to do a separate video of how to use the MBUX system. I know some of you guys asked me about it. And now that I've tested several of them, I'm fairly comfortable around the system. But this would take too long on this video. So now we have this new generation MBUX system for your infotainment system and uh, here's your main screen home button we have the phone navigation radio media apps comfort let's go here seat kinetics this is not a fully massage seats but you know kind of resembles it a little bit heating settings automatic seat positioning and then we have the ambient lighting of course we have 64 colors monochrome multicolor brightness effects that's what you can adjust here go back and see what else we have info 
and it's going to give you the accelerator, brake, pitch, and roll. We're in the comfort mode. We have several different modes that we can uh, choose from, from the Mercedes Benz at the bottom here at the dynamic settings. That's where you change them. So you have your eco, comfort, sport, and individual mode, which you can make your own adjustments on it. Hit that little setting button and here you can select drive and select from eco comfort and sport and you can do that for the other features steering esp and sound well, let's go back again to the main settings devices you can connect your phone wirelessly and of course there's the wireless android auto apple carplay other settings for the vehicle and this is your basically your main screen for the settings so you have the assistance vehicle light system apps and info um, lots of customization here comfort easy entry and exit feature occupant protection open close um, you know what happens when you close the door dynamic select this is where you adjust your own settings here lights daytime running lights is on interior exterior lighting ambient light system you need online voice control for this service you know just turn on the hey mercedes so it doesn't you know, interrupt our presentation here. Apps, you have the Vivaldi browser and you have your info, open digital operators manual. So in case you are wondering of how to work certain things, well, there you go. Help is right here. This is not a link. This is a full blown owner's manual, basically right here. Okay, well, let's go back to the home screen. And let's put it in reverse. I'm going to show you the rear view camera. It opens up. See what's going on. Check surroundings. So the rear view camera, wide angle, narrow angle. We have the trajectory lines, both for the front and the back. Kind of gives you that safety zone. And uh, as you approach something, it's going to change color and give you audible warning. Okay. Uh, parking assistance is going to ask you to look for the parking spaces here. There's pretty full parking lot, so we're not going to do that here. Uh, but that's your rear view camera. Kind of wish that it would take up the entire screen instead of just this little portion of it. Put it in park and uh, go back to your home screen. Of course, your navigation here. Nice, bright, visible. You have several different options to tell Mercedes where you want to go. And um, you have this floating icons here, like previous destination, guest station, parking spaces. You know, you can, you can select from there as well. At the bottom here, uh, this stays on at all times. This, these are your shortcuts, of course, for your climate control. So you have the temperature adjustment, fan adjustments, climate menu. You can open it up on the screen as well. See where the air is coming out of. You can sync it, unsync it. Um, you can do the air recirculating button, that type of stuff. The bottom that's where you change the dynamic mode here is your parking assistance this takes you to the main functions of the vehicle kind of a toggle switches so you have the electronic stability protection manual shifting parktronic seatbelt feeder uh, X, lane keep assist steering wheel assist auto lane change interior protection tow wheel arm block trunk settings and if you want more you just go to all settings it opens up the vehicle settings hazard lights here at the bottom here's your fingerprint reader you're going to turn this screen off you can also adjust it there you go you can see how it tilts so it depends on where the sun is you can make it better visible for you depending on where you're sitting and of course you have the volume adjustment here down here we have the cup holders and uh as well as the USB type C port. Right back there is where your wireless charger is. If you don't want to see it, you can close this off. Here's your controls for the top. As you see, that's an easy operation for the top. And this is how you open this middle console. We have two additional USB type C ports. Very shallow, not much stuff that can be put in, but you of course have a glove box right there. Decent size mirror. It's not a digital mirror, but we do have three home link uh, buttons at the bottom. Of course, LED lights. You have the SOS button. And then on the visors, you have the illuminated 
mirrors here. And this is the interior of this 2024 CLE 300 Cabriolet. Let's talk about pricing and then take it for a spin. Pricing is going to be really quick because there are only two models as far as the Cabriolets. The CLE 300 for Matic starts at 64 350 and the CLE 450 for Matic Cabriolet starts at $75,000. And then you can go from there. This one lists just over $72,000. And I'm going to list all of the equipment in the description of this video. But I'm excited to check this out. Now, this is the base engine that you'll find that at the CLE 300 Coupe, you'll find it in the CLE 300 Cabriolet, of course. We're going to check this out and see how this vehicle performs. Obviously, it's not going to be as fast as the 53, but we'll see. One thing to mention is the visibility. It's actually pretty good. We have this big windshield, mirrors are decent size. Even if you look in the mirror, you can see what's going on. Although I think every vehicle will benefit with this digital mirror because there's no obstructions there at all. Or in the parking lot, turn the wheel all the way to the left. Let's check out the turning radius here. We have one, two, three, four and a half. Very nice and tight. And there you go. So steering, check, big plus, okay? It also feels really good. So for some reason I'm in this individual mode, let's fix that, let's put it in the sport mode. You're gonna see how this vehicle changes. Everything was in the regular mode as far as the individual, because I didn't adjust anything. So it's kind of like having it in the comfort mode. Stuffing up as far as the feel off the steering wheel, a bit, but that's about the only change that I've seen so far. Now let's see how it merges. Here we go. It's not bad. I gotta tell you, nice and comfortable ride, even in this sport mode. Obviously it's not super fast, but it's fast enough to merge in traffic and it feels pretty confident on the road. It's hard to get in this and be excited about the performance after being in the CLE 53. However, not everybody is looking for performance. A lot of people are looking for this luxury, comfortable feel and having a convertible. And this vehicle definitely delivers on, on that part. It looks really good. It feels really good. Uh, even the base engine option is not bad for everyday driving. All right. Well, I have a stretch of open road ahead of me. Nobody behind me. Uh, let's see the pickup on it. All right, the turbo kicked in. We're at 40, 50, and 60. Actually, not bad at all. For everyday use of a vehicle, it is enough. $72,000 is the MSRP on this vehicle. It sounds very steep for a C-Class, just about in line for the e-class overall a great vehicle in my opinion let me know what you think about it cle is it a c or an e i think it combines the characteristics of both the interior is definitely more of a c-class like but you know it's, it's slightly larger so for those of you who are looking for that extra room you're definitely won't be disappointed especially in that driver and passenger seat of course the rear seat is mostly for decoration but overall a great vehicle let me know what you think about it put it in the comment section below i'll try to respond to all of them i hope you like this and i hope you learned something and if you did don't forget to check out the rest of my channel hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video cheers